And from that moment on, it seemed like your defense was completely locked in. What changed? What did you guys do? What was the strategy? And, and what happened the rest of the game? You know, I don't think the co the strategy, Mike, was all that complicated. You know, we we, we were getting beat downhill. Uh, they got to the rim a couple times. Uh, and sometimes early on, you know, our shot selection wasn't all that great. You know, so they started to get away from us a little bit, take a timeout, and, and really, you know, dig in to personnel, uh, you know, to the things that we had prepared to do against this team. You know, they want to get downhill, they throw it in the post, they got multitude of guys that can score in the post, and a lot of guys can take you off the dribble. So that's what makes them hard to guard. That's why they're really good. So you have to be able to to do both. You can't do one without the other. And I thought from that point forward, like you said, I think we did that. We contained penetration, you know, we, we handled ball screen action better, we fought the post better, and we made them take tough shots. Then of course we rebounded. Rebounding numbers were a big part of, of that comeback. Continuing on with defense, Subigan, Joe, Connor, and Chris at the same time, it seemed like those three were on the court a lot together. Yeah, Philip, Philip, uh, he was he was banging in there. Uh, he got a couple of tough foul calls. He got in foul trouble. I thought Chris, you're right, he was terrific with his length. You know, because their bigs will take you off the dribble too. So. Inside out, so you know he he would move his feet. He fought the post. He rebounded the ball. Connor was great. You know he's tough. He's smart. He communicates out there. You know and having a, a veteran guy in that situation is critical, especially on the road. But I thought Joe T was terrific. As was Aaron Eulis, and then Tony. You know at the start of the second half was spectacular too. So all of those guys you know, gave us really really quality minutes. Right, when it was twenty one to ten uh, when you came out of that time. Keegan scored 10 straight for you. What is the event, or what is the, the luxury of having a player like that who, in a, in a moment like that on the road, can take over a game and kids claw you back into that way? Well, you know, I think the thing that's impressive about him is he does it in a variety of ways. It's not like he's just scoring in the post or he's just making threes or he's just making he takes pull-ups, he drives the ball. You know, he can finish through contact, he can finish going right, going left. Uh, and he just plays the game with a tremendous amount of confidence, which really is impactful to his teammates. You know, it, it, you know he's able to settle everybody down. I mean, we, we're struggling to score here. You know, Mike's right, our defense was better from that, but, but we were struggling to score too. So uh, now you have a guy like him that, that makes big buckets for you, gets you right back in the game, and, you know, with, with still you got 30 minutes to go. Coach, in the last maybe 240, there was a, a point where Liddell hits a three. Um, you get a few offensive rebounds. Connor kind of puts it away with that three. Connor, what was your, your vantage point of that point offensively? Well, you know, it, it was an incredibly competitive possession, you know, for us because, you know, we still had a lead. I think we're up six, right? I think it was I went from six to nine. So uh, you don't want to come down and quick shoot it. You want to make, you know, we're in the bonus. So can you get a foul? Can you get to the free throw line? Well, they weren't going to foul. But then we got. You know, two offensive rebounds, so we're able to take you know essentially, I think over a minute off the clock, which is big, and then he hits the three, which is kind of the dagger, you're right? So uh, I mean, you couldn't have asked for anything better in that situation. Yeah, Mike. You mentioned the rebounding, specifically on the offensive glass. What was the key, and was that something you targeted coming into this game, or did it just play out that way? It's something we talked about a lot. I mean. Think about their team. I mean, they're coming to block. You come, you go to the basket. They're coming for it. So that leaves opportunities for weak side rebounding. Uh, you know, and they get a lot of them. You know, and, and it creates a lot of uncertainty sometimes with guys who drive against them. But you know, we always want to get downhill. And then you know, if we we miss, we got to we got to get the weak side rebounds, and we did that tonight. You guys had to go to bed Thursday night feeling down. What? happened from Friday morning until game time? I would say this, Mike, I, I, I don't think anybody was down. Uh, we didn't play well in one stretch of the game. We lost to a really good team that we respect. Uh, we fought hard. We had a chance to tie it. We executed coming down the stretch. I think when you feel bad is when you feel like you blew the game. Uh, 
I feel bad because I should have done something different. The players feel bad because they didn't execute or we broke down defensively. I mean, we did everything we needed to do. Because we were down, I think, 11 in that game, or 12. And, and it came back, they had, had the ball down three with, a, with, a, with an open three. So, you know, you, you manage the clock, you put your team in a position to win. Those kids executed to perfection. You know, and I think if, if you start going down the road where, you know, it's an awful loss, everybody feels awful, it's, it's disrespectful to the team that just beat you. You know, we, Michigan's really good. And uh, we fought them hard, you know, and we, had, we knew 48 hours later, less than 48 hours, we'd, we'd, we'd be here. But you can't, you can't worry about it. You stay positive, you stay connected, you stay focused, and you take a business-like approach to put the game plan together for this one. Coach, Chris was, I believe, 0 for 4, 0 for 5 in the first half, but led the team in scoring in, in the second half. You know, What did you see from him keeping his confidence up and being really aggressive when keeping Williams scoring? Well, I think that's the key for him. I and mean, you've seen him a lot, obviously, this year. Uh, you know, He would sometimes, especially early on in the season, get down on himself if he missed some shots he should make or if he made a defensive mistake. He's really showing a lot of resiliency right now at just playing through team mistake, a personal mistake, a missed shot, and uh, I think what you're seeing is a guy who's really gaining confidence, and it's, it's, it's great to see. One or two more. You mentioned Liddell being an inside-out type of player. It seemed like you were able to wear him down, throw a lot of bodies at him. That's had mixed success for teams that have played Ohio State this season. Why do you think you are able to affect him the way that you did? Well, I think we have a lot of respect for him. Uh, you know, we, and we were we switched and, 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 and tried to keep the X on the O, which I think is important for him. Uh, give him a little bit of space. He's, he's a handful. Uh, but I thought we fought him in the post. We made him, we made him make tough shots. You know, he still scored, but he, he had to make tough shots. And that's what we wanted to do, but, you know, keep the X on the O, make him make tough shots, and try to keep off the free throw line. Outside of the Coburns and Dickinsons, et cetera, is there anybody Connor can't defend in this league? I think you are those guys, Mike. <laughs> uh, he has a, a keen sense of, of what our team needs at any given time. And he will fight you in the post and slide his feet. Uh, you know, his communication ability, especially when we have some of the younger guys out there, is really, really special. And it makes my job easier.